A powerful way to capture design intent in Autodesk Inventor is by using user parameters. User parameters are values that you can set up before you even begin sketching that you can use uh, in your drawing at any point in the time. And today we're going to look at how to create user parameters and use them in sketches. The part we're going to be creating in this video will be this simple notch block. Consider the notch block that I have in the drawing. You'll see that I've defined the height, the length, and then the depth. And then the size of the notch are a derivative of the height and the length. One of the values here is that I can come in and I can change those values for height, length, and depth at any time and the other dimensions will automatically update. To do so, let's go ahead and dive straight into Autodesk Inventor. So I've already created my part here and I'm going to begin before I, uh, before I do anything else, I'm going to go in and I'm going to create my user parameters. So I'm going to move to the Manage tab up here at the top, and I'm going to choose the Parameters tool. Now parameters are things like dimensions. Okay, You'll see that there are model parameters and user parameters. You can create user parameters at any time and apply them in any sketch. If I want to add a user parameter, I'll simply come here and I'll choose Add Numeric and it asks me first for the parameter name. So in this case, I want one called length. You have to be aware of the fact that when you create your parameters, these are case sensitive. So there's a difference between length with a capital L and length with all lower case, or length with all uppercase. Make sure that you're uh, aware of what you're typing in. I'm going to switch over now or just tab over and it asks me for the unit type. I'm going to leave that as inches and then my value I'm going to say I want that to have a value say of 8. Press enter. Created my first user parameter. To do so again I'll do the same thing here. I want to create another one called height. Tab, tab, I'll give it a height of 4 and then I'll add one more parameter here called depth and I will give this a depth of two and three quarters. When I'm done creating my parameters, I can simply close this window, done, and I can head back to my 3D model and create my sketch. I'm gonna create my sketch for this part. Again, let's take a look at what it's supposed to look like. I'm just gonna create this L-shaped sketch, approximately the right size and shape. Remember, I'm only going to do the front view because when I uh, that'll be my base sketch, and then when I extrude, I'll get the top view, right? So I'm going to come in here, and I'm going to say I want to start on my front plane, my XY plane. And I'm going to go ahead and start at the start point and make it approximately the right size and shape. It doesn't have to be exact as long as it's about right. And get it about what I have here. Once you have your geometry in place, if you need to add any constraints, you may. I'm good at this point. So now I want to come in and simply add my dimensions. So my overall dimension, for example, is this line. And right now it says it's going to be seven and a half inches long or so. But remember, I created that user parameter and I gave it the name length. So instead of having to remember what the value was, I can simply type in the parameter. Remember, it is case sensitive, but as soon as I get it typed in there correctly, it goes from red to black. I can press enter, and you'll notice here that it says, okay, fx, meaning it's a function of that user parameter and the value is eight. For my height, I can do the same thing. Again, there's a difference between capital H height and lowercase height. It won't recognize it if it doesn't match exactly. Now for the other two, this one needs to be two-thirds the length, and this one needs to be three-quarters the height. As you add your dimensions, you can simply put those equations in. So for here, I want it to be two slash three multiplied by the length, and I want this one 
to be three slash quarter, three quarters multiplied by the height. Notice we're fully constrained. I can finish my sketch. And now even when I do something like an extrude, I can use those parameters. So if I want to extrude that, the depth, I don't remember what the depth was, or maybe I want to be consistent, I can simply type in that parameter that I created, depth, it recognizes it, choose OK, and you have now used user parameters to capture design intent in your design.